Greetings, welcome back to the Outer Worlds where we are looking for for something which is god damn it inside there uh, weapons from the grid so here still uh, are we at the same? no location god damn it go back Okay, this... Hmm? Okay, oh my god, that's a long way to go. Can I just... I think I can. Yeah. You can also throw on your hostiles. Okay, so I'll go away from hostiles. Can I do it now? Thank you. Yes. All right, no, that's a lot, a lot better. Go around 100 meters instead of 800. You seen Arthur today? Hmm? No. Nah, last time I saw him. Who's Arthur? Arthur? I don't know any Arthur. Hello, hello, hello. Hey. Uh huh. You. Blind little bird? No. Can you not see I'm busy? Why is it every sissy pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. Crude but forthright. I admire that. Yeah, of course you do. Truthfully spoken. I do aim to properly represent my aforementioned nugget of paradise. Hmm, if by nugget of paradise you mean piece of manty dung, then sure. You know, I ain't heard that one before. <laughs> Suppose I'll have to work harder to show you just what makes our town shine. But first, I'll need to know what brings you, stranger. Well, I'm half listening. What the hell, if I even know. Actually, I'm a fixer for a sublight problem. The boss sent me off. You don't look like one of Lilia's. Sure sound the part, though. Hmm. Good of you to finally haul your ass over here. I wired for backup weeks ago. Got something that's gonna require special extraction from Cascadia. What do you need? Cut to the chase, goddammit. Alright, alright. One of my runners uncovered a cache of Alta Vitae gas. Left in a lab when the board abandoned Cascadia. To extract the gas, really? you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. Totally safe. Yeah, totally safe, I'm sure. Define safe. Meaning safe for me and my crew. Of course. Being as it ain't us undertaking the risk. Remind me what Alta Vita gas is exactly, please? One of them egghead science types? You should know. All I know is that labs use it to create plants and livestock out of local species. But it's a controlled commodity, available only to the board. So it is of high value on the dark market. I can get it done, I guess. <sighs> but let's not be hasty. To get to the gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. Of course it is. The lab itself has become an infested nest, crawling with mantis. You gotta fight through, or figure out some other way to exterminate them. Maybe the ventilation system? Maybe. Okay, I'll find a way around the mantis sores. That's why Lilia's paying you, I take it. Now, after you clear the mantis nest and reach the storage room, all that's left is to get the gas flowing into the fuel system. The task will require someone with technical skills. Or you can force it through with a plasma overload. Don't recommend that option though, unless you want to get dead. Hmm. Good thing we have an engineer. Huh. Uh, no. Well, we have him. The system, but I feel confident saying I can split her asunder. I'll just bet you can. Men of the cloth never do cease to amaze me. Bright as a newborn star on the outside, blackest of holes within. Once you've got our goods, take them to the groundbreaker. Lilia's fencers ought to handle the rest of it. I've marked the coordinates for you to the lab in Cascadia. Thanks. Pass code antediluvian on the terminal to get in. 
But before you make your run, I could use a heavy helping hand regarding a local issue. Of course you do. What do you want? Come on, come on. This particular matter of opportunity has been eating at me for a while now. Of course. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. That aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. Clear as that. Get the thing this is going to involve murder. As as I hope so. Clive Lundberg, the self-proclaimed Borst King of Monarchs, is swimming in profit and drowning in his ego. He's making the only meal to be had this side of Monarch, and I'm tired of ponying up for my dinner. I want that forest factory. Owner dead or alive. Okay. You're the soon to be handsomely paid fucker who's gonna get it for me. Easy, I guess. Uh, and so wait. Any tips on how am I get in? If you got brass knockers, you can shoot your way through the front gate. If you don't fancy getting shot to shit, you can try asking Duncan for a disguise. Hmm. Might be another way in, assuming you're courageous enough to trek the sewers. Boy, fine. Yeah. In his gut or his production lines ought to make do. Okay, wanted to sabotage. I say you might care to poison the sisty pigs, doctor a few financial records, or throw a wrench in the canning machinery. Sounds good. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. Oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, see Duncan in the dry goods and sundry building. He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. Duncan, okay. May luck be with you, since I won't be. Duncan. Guess that's him. Remind me never to get on Ms. Malin's bad side. Eh. Uh, Cell sanitization needed. Alert. Cell sanitization needed. Yeah, yeah. Where's Duncan? No. No. Yeah, no. No. Once again, I'm, I'm my memory is in the shutters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about. No. Maybe. Uh, oh, thank you. Well, the. Oh. Oh. No, I'd like a room. No, 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 not really. I want to know where Duncan is. So if she told me, I don't really remember what she told me. Oh, nice. Um. Dust accumulation analysis. Two point five hmm. years. Good work, Thank Sam. You. Customer, You're welcome. Is utterly filthy. I know. Back to work. Can I sell you some junk? Thank you. Who are you? Some employee. Yeah, I guess I won't find. Wait, let's check it out. Password for sure to get inside. Not over to Duncan. God damn it. Oh well. So I assume this shows me the way out. Yeah, it does. Hmm. Okay, never mind then. Get out of here. Oh my god, why is it so? Um, this one? Where is it? Really, where is it? Okay, I'll go. No, not the ruins, just the solar bay. Yeah, I will get the solar the bay. Okay, oh my god. Okay. 
Is that inside now? Shouldn't be. Hey, stop that. Let him be! God damn it, he doesn't understand. No, we are too harsh to him. He doesn't understand everything, okay? Is that inside? No, it's behind the shop. Not hello. Here to catch a game? No. I'm the transmission's still pretty bad. What can I do for you? Um, I found this betting slip in dead man's apartment. Poor Isaac. I was wondering why I hadn't seen him in a few days. I'd really like to help. Isaac was a sweet fellow, even if he did have terrible teeth. Yeah. Mm, do you know who did it or not? I don't know for sure, but I saw Elijah and his buddies pushing Isaac around. They're hooligans from Fallbrook. They sweep into town, drop supplies off behind the warehouse, and spend the rest of their stay getting rowdy over tossball games. They usually loiter in the alley behind the yacht club. They're not allowed in the bar anymore. I bet you anything Isaac ran into trouble with one of them. Okay. I'll make them pay. Yeah. Someone's gotta. Mr. Sanjar will be pleased to hear about it when you're done. I know he gets fed up with the Fallbrook bullies, but there's not much he can do. Hmm. Thanks for that, though. Let's see, spaces. No. Uh, no. This one. Must meet with Velma. Oh, God damn it. You have to go around again. Yep. Hi, Velma. Yeah, hey, I know, I know. I've got some bad news about that Braxton. That he's dead. That's wow. I sure feel like an ass now. And you should. It's a rotten way to go. Yeah, I wouldn't wish that on Catherine herself. Still, it's good to know what happened to him, and that I ought to start looking for a replacement. Something else on your mind? Not really. Okay. What else? Uh, passion pills. Yep. Let's go for that. How good am I with those reputation? Can I check it? I don't think I can check it. Reputation, here. Nice. Very good with uh, Groundbreaker. Friendly with Monarch Stellar Industries. Nice. Hmm. Oh, I'm very good with dessert terrors with nearly every everyone there. I'm very good. I need to talk to you about something, I guess. Hello again, dearie. What can I get you? Hmm, you know what you can get me about Dr. Williams. Such a pity, isn't it? I know, right? It's an important reminder that one can have too much of a good thing. Even cost tolerine. Hmm. Okay. Wait, what? Still can talk you? Yes. I thought you were in charge around here then. Okay, yes, remind me. Okay. I'm not gonna intimate in intimidate her. Give me that, give me that, and give me that. And close it up. Oh, this is the way out. Mm, heck. Patient recovered, Snyaka. Wait, why there's my patient one? Okay. And nope. That is data storage. Oh my god. There's a lot, so. Okay. 
Okay, that's all. Now I'll put the skill points, be right back. Okay, there's that. I decided to put something in leadership now. Upgrade my companions a bit. Let's deliver those pills. Hopefully we will be one we will have one quest less to worry about. Hi. Ah, the charmer. Welcome back. Drink chat or business. Business. All of the above? No. I've got your ma magic pills. More or less dangerous than a steady supply of alcohol. Give it in. Ooh, that hits the spot. Right in the uh oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Yes. We're in business. Let's go. Glad to have you. Great. Where to? I don't know. Let's find the information worker. Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. We'll be going south and west. Mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Okay. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? That's fun. You can say so. You're more of a spelunker. Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. Okay. Oh, that's better. When we get closer. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open. Hmm. I can rock in the ship. I think we're done with him here. Customer profile created. Greetings, user Nioka. Hey. Okay, I'll bite. What's with the auto mechanical following you around? I like him. Warning. Sam's cleaning mm. has been known to cause in if... stand clear when stream is engaged. Huh? Uh okay then. But they still managed to I have to admit he is cute. Okay, that's nice, I guess. I'll leave you with that. Crazy lie when okay, oh can I play that? Just how far the sound of your footsteps travel when I was in the party. The creatures, yep. And this one. We have here twenty armor, that's plenty, and I'll give you that. Feed themselves, dress themselves, work together. Now what are we doing? No, 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 this one. Hey. hey, this one. Where off to? Somewhere then. Sam, uh, I've got a question. Do you use alcohol as a cleaning agent? I've heard some folk do that. Alcohol-based cleaners can compare to Samson Ray Acid Spray Premium Nozzle Attachment. Installation available for as low as nine payments of ninety nine ninety nine. You. Hey, what are you doing here? This is our secret out. It's not very secret. Berna already pissed by those crates to market. You, I know you murdered Isaac. That purple tooth twerp had it coming. Not that anyone has proof, and not that it's any of your business. I'm making it my business. Oh yeah. What are you saying exactly? You've bullied people long enough. Wow. Most of the pencil pushers around here cave as soon as you look at them, funny. Fine, we're going. This ain't worth it. Of course it's not. I should, should shoot you in your back. Yeah. Come on, move along. I don't wanna see you. So I wanna loot the place. Okay, I guess that's all. I really like <laughs> Sam's <laughs> skill. And so, he's cute. Hello. Aha, the helpful stranger I've heard so much about. Here to do business, hmm? Hmm, perhaps. This newcomer has a meeting with me. That's very generous of you. Celia, will you make a note of that for my self review? Very generous. Noted. 
but not so generous I can't drive a good bargain. Now, who sent you? Rizzo's perhaps, or Auntie Cleo herself? None of the above. I'm just looking for the information broker. How did Devil's Peak? If you're headed that far, I see you've brought the right woman for the job. Damn right. But if you're here for him, I suppose that means you aren't here for Saltuna. Yeah. If I have to eat one more weird science project passed off as food in this spread fucked colony, I'm going to stab someone. Yes, that's it. Channel your anger. I only wish I could do the same. <laughs> I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. Hmm. What is it they're hoping to accomplish? So called hazard clause. Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for 10 years now. So called is right. We've got our hazards, but we're still here, damn it. The board took off without so much as a thought for the folks left behind. Now, we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off the books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Hmm, and you're tired of scrounging scraping by, right? Yes, freedom is a tempting ideal, but a rather costly parable. So what do you mean to do about that? Well, Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. Okay. A lot of good that'll do. He'll just find another reason to turn tail and abandon you. Not if we secure the proper safeguards first. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. This lady knows. It's true, our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach, and the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. Oh, you do seem to have a bit of reputation problem, but okay, fine. But how do you mean to do that? With the fifty-two cartridge, of course. Okay. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt fifty-two, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. What is it? Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon, an extremely powerful ordinance. Where do I find one? In the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. These days it's overrun with marauders and rapt dogs. Of course it is. And I guess I'll go get it. I've lost more than a few people to marauders and raptodons out there. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Hmm. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Information about you? Okay, and it, but I need to ask you about something else. Uh, Isaac Rose is dead. But that's terrible. What happened? He's been killed. I'm glad to hear you've dealt with them. They've been causing quite a bit of trouble around town. I've been consumed with other matters of late, but I would have dealt with them. Of course, yeah. <laughs> of course I would have. Still, your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Please consider this payment for your services. I came at Grim. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? He did a bang up job. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What Thank else you. can I do for you? I think that's all. What all could it? That I keep such meticulous notes. Okay, where how I've asked myself oh, what happened? many times. Especially seeing as the legal mechanisms we employed were part of the board's own bylaws. Do you mean that you initiated your own removal? Not intentionally, though that's technically true. For many years, this planet was home to as many corporations as Terra 2. Back then, it was known as Terra 1. What? Terra 1 and Terra 2? What? Really? I always thought they were refreshingly straightforward names. After all, the whole point of terraforming was to make them Earth-like. Here, though, the results were... mixed. That ain't fair. They didn't leave on account of the hazards. They left on account of their cowardice. The hazards just gave him a reason to put to paper. 
sharp as ever, Nyoka. And as the other corporations began to tally their losses, they decided to pull out. But no MSI, right? Our leadership at the time certainly wanted to. But there were others of us who saw an opportunity. The chance to improve working hours and conditions, to reform MSI from the ground up. How forward thinking, really. But it's also good business sense. Exhausted, sick, and malnourished workers are not productive workers. Even a cursory review of the data bears that out. Anyway, we learned of a loophole in the corporate bylaws that would allow MSI to claim ownership of the entire planet once the other corporations pulled out, creating the perfect environment for us to enact these new reforms. Yeah. Using both on tools against them. Clever. Talk me that. I thought. But the senior executives laughed in our faces and insisted we be relocating to Terra 2 along with everyone else. Mm-hmm. Yet here you are. Yes. Some of us stayed behind, and as the most senior executive remaining, I ended up in charge of what was left of MSI. I moved forward with our planned reforms, as well as our strategy to assume ownership of the planet. Yet not long after I renamed it Monarch, the other corporations dislodged us from the board and began an official campaign to paint us as lawless savages. That's low, really. I think I realized how far they'd stoop. Everything we did was legal and above board. We followed their rules, and yet they still found reasons to declare us outlaws. I do think there's something useful in a governing body like the board. Something that keeps us from anarchy, but I dearly wish it functioned differently. What's the hazard clause? Straight bullshit is what it is. A fabrication rich folks use to preserve their investments by leaving a lot of people here to die slow. Nyoka has the right of it. It's a legal provision that gives the board the authority to cordon off any planet or location that it deems dangerous. For the greater good. Hmm. Allegedly. And they've run yes. in the monarch, right? All of MSI criminals in the board's eyes. Rather hard to run a business that way. Yeah. What exactly do you want back? Why wouldn't anyone? They own nearly all the resources and infrastructure in Halcyon. Yeah, that'd go a long way toward rebuilding our homes. To be on the board is to be part of the colonial community. And being cut off means slow strangulation. Okay. Uh, is it really worth going back? I'm not a man to put pride before progress. If membership on the board can ease our hardships and provide us with opportunities, then that's the path I mean to pursue. Besides, I'm hopeful that additional leverage on our part will allow us a more equitable relationship. Leverage. Don't get ahead of yourself, sir. Yes, yes. It'll be easier to explain once we have the board 52. Okay. My hope Won't threaten him, then. We've managed here, and who knows? Perhaps once we're restored, we could spread them to other corporations. What can oh. I do? Okay, I have no more, more questions. I want to end this for now. Thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon.